I'm a 43 year old white male. There's nothing special about me. I'm straight talking, I'm genuine. What you see is what you find. But one thing that really gets on my wick more than anything else is this woke mob, as they're called, going round trying to cancel anything from historical figures to celebrities that say something they don't agree with and they become highly offended by. And one of the main things that they bandy around is the word race or racism and they get very upset when they think somebody's being racist. Well, every now and again, I read a news article which proves that they're just saying it for the sake of it to get a reaction and that half of them haven't got a clue what they're actually talking about. Let's discuss. <laughs> How do everyone welcome back to the channel for the last thing on a thursday hope you're doing all right barring any breaking news or anything else that needs to come out of the woodwork this is the last you'll hear from me today well <laughs> race and woke and all the rest of it it really gets on my bloody nerves all the, all the stuff i read here and half the time they're just kicking off for the sake of it with no real foundation whatsoever and they just bandy you with bullshit to try and make themselves look clever. And it very rarely works. One target uh, that worries me with all this wokeness, as it's called, is the kids, our children, and how malleable they are and how they can be brainwashed into thinking that something is true that isn't. I'll give you an example. They did, they did a, quite a clever survey over in America. Uh, with some uh, college students, all, all young, all in their teens. And they were asked a question, what do you think of Black Friday? As in the sales that we get oh, over in uh, America, they happen after Thanksgiving. And straight away, all of these students got the hump with it. Have a look. They were asked an open question. What do you think of Black Friday and should the name be changed to something else like after Thanksgiving sales day or after Christmas sales or something like that? And they all turned around and said, Black Friday? You can't call it Black Friday. That's racist. How dare you? You're being horrible about people of colour. And it's not their fault. They all think that because that's what they've been trained to think and what they're indoctrinated to think. Any possibility that a name of something can be related to racism, they're all over it like flies on poop. It's ridiculous. Well, what happened? They were then educated as to where the name Black Friday comes from. It's been around since 1869 and it's named in honour of retailers making a profit after Thanksgiving in America. It's as simple as that. You know, when you trade, you're either in the red or you're in the black. If you're in the red, there's no profit and you're generally in debt. If you're in the black, you've made a profit. They're simple banking trading terms. And when this was explained to them, they changed their tune. Oh, 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 that's not too bad actually. Yes, let's leave it as Black Friday. There's no problem with that. You see, there's a simple explanation for everything. So instead of jumping on the bandwagon, saying, it's racist, it's racist, stop to think, where did it come from in the first place? Unbelievable. And this is a prime example of why and this cancel culture lot are a bunch of looms. And I do wonder when it's going to stop. It stops when our kids are educated that it's not the way to think. And uh, I hope that one day that will happen. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but it's getting out of hand. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your evenings, folks. This is a Gabby Cabby signing off, and I will see you tomorrow. Toodaloo. Oh, one more thing. Live stream tomorrow, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. I will be there. Make sure you are too, and have your questions ready. Toodaloo twice. <laughs>